Hello children. Hello everybody. Hi, I'm Luella. And I'm Leslie. But she's my grandma. I'm Grandma Leslie. And we are going to tell you today a story about a little baby boy a long, long time ago. And here he is, a baby. And his name is... Moses. Moses, yes. And Moses was an Israelite and he lived happily with his mummy and his sister and the rest of his family. But one day there was a big problem because in Egypt then there was an evil king and the king was called Pharaoh. Pharaoh, yes. And Pharaoh thought there are so many of these Israelites around, I'm going to get rid of them and I'm going to take away their baby boys. So Moses' mummy was really upset. But she had a plan. She thought, if I can hide Moses so that Pharaoh doesn't take him, everything will be all right. And they lived very close to the river just like you do, Ruella, but a different river, because this river was called the Nile. And they found a basket. They dressed Moses in a clean nappy and they put him in the basket very gently, very carefully, not to frighten him. That's it. And just so he wouldn't get cold, they put a cover on him. And they put him on the Nile and he floated happily away, hidden by these great big bulrushes. Now Moses had a big sister whose name was Miriam. Miriam. And Miriam hid a little way away behind some more bulrushes just to keep an eye on her little brother. And it was a good thing too, because as the boat floated, a group of ladies saw the boat. They had come down from Pharaoh's palace to dip their toes in the water because it was a really, really hot day. And one of the ladies was Pharaoh's daughter. And when she saw Moses, she went, oh, what a beautiful baby. I must keep him for myself. Now Miriam heard this and she thought very quickly and she ran and got her mother. And she said to Pharaoh's daughter, would you like this lady to look after Moses for you and be his nurse and save you all the trouble? And Pharaoh's daughter said, what a good idea. And so Moses's mummy took him out of the basket and went back with him to Pharaoh's palace and there they lived until Moses grew up safe and sound. And that was just to show that God always keeps us safe, that God has a very special plan for each of us. And Moses, when he grew up, was going to do something very special and lead the Israelites into the promised land. Isn't that wonderful? So let's say a little prayer of thank you to God. Thank you God for all our mummies and daddies, brothers and sisters, grandmas and granddads and everybody who keeps us safe. And thank you God for making a plan for each of us. Amen. Amen. Anything you want to say? No. Okay.
Bye-bye. See you next time.